Good afternoon, Tigers, and welcome to Tiger Vision News for Monday, September 19th. I'm Josh, and this is my co-host, Brock. Thanks for joining us today. Due to last Thursday and Friday's special constitution programming, we were unable to bring you the teacher spotlight. Last week's spotlight was on Mrs. Bills, Mr. Bond, and Miss Benitez. Let's join Landon and find out a little bit more about them. Hi, I'm Landon, here with your teacher spotlights for this week. First, we have Miss Bills. Her favorite pastimes are planting flowers, and her favorite TV show is The Food Network. Her favorite snack is chips and hot sauce and anything salty, and her favorite sports team is the Friendship Tigers. Next, we have Mr. Bond. His favorite pastime is Woodward, and his favorite candy is Butterfinger. His favorite snack is anything sweet and salty, and his favorite sports team is the Dallas Cowboys. Finally, we have Miss Benitez. Her favorite pastime is rodeo, and her favorite candy is Reese's. Her favorite snack is chips and hot sauce, and her favorite sports program is the PRCA, Professional Rodeo Cowboy Association. That's a look at your teacher spotlights for this week. Back to you. Thank you, Landon. And the PTA would like to remind everyone that they are sponsoring a Kleenex drive all this week. Bring a box of Kleenex with you to school any day this week and you'll get a pass for a free bag of popcorn from our PTA. There will be ladies from our PTA at all entrances to our school this week, so when you show up with your Kleenex boxes, all you have to do is give them your Kleenex. After you give them your box, you'll get a free popcorn pass that you can use during the PTA's Popcorn Wednesday on the 28th to get a free bag of popcorn. So be sure to bring several boxes of Kleenex this week. Mr. M would like to let everyone know that the after school chess club will meet this Wednesday after school. His room number is 113 and the meeting will last from 310 to 410. Be sure to make plans to join the chess club. They go to all sorts of chess tournaments throughout the year and have a really fun time. Now let's check in with Cade and see what's in our forecast. Hey guys, I'm Cade Carlisle with the weather. Current conditions outside are 79 degrees, partly cloudy, northeast winds 8 miles per hour, and no chance of rain. Here's a look at your regional forecast. Looks like the rain has gone down to the bottom of Texas and to the southern states. Here's a look at your five-day forecast. Tuesday it looks sunny. Wednesday we might get some rain and sunny for the rest of the week. I'm Cade Carlisle with your weather. Stay classy, FMS. Thanks, Cade. Now let's find out what's going on in sports. Hello, FMS sports fans. I'm Colton, and this is Britton, and here's a look at today's sports. The next football games for our 7th and 8th grade boys will take place this Wednesday and Thursday. The boys will play their rivals from Lubbock, the McKenzie Raiders. The 7th graders will play Wednesday night, and the 8th graders will play Thursday night. The games will start at 6 and 7 p.m., and they are all being played here. Photojournalist Case Blackwell and I were at the last varsity football game to watch our Friendship Tigers annihilate the Monterey Playton. Take a look. It was homecoming time at Lowry Field as the 2-0 Friendship Tigers took on the 2-0 Lubbock Monterey Plains. Bobby Huey was again the star with 168 yards and 19 runs. And it was Bobby Huey running it in for the first Tiger touchdown of the night, 7-0 Tigers. Tucker Tuberville set up Troy Gonzalez with this run for the first down. Then he handed the ball off to Troy on the two-yard line for the, for the Tiger touchdown. The kick was blocked, 13-7 Tigers. Tuckerville had another good game, and this pass to Kay Davis for the first time. Then he handed it off to Bobby Hughes. But, surprisingly, it was Troy Gonzalez, not Bobby Hughes, getting in the end zone, 20-7 Tigers. Tucker Tuberville passed it to Kate Davis, 26 to 13. And then Jermaja Tucker ran it in, and that was all the plans we could take. We interviewed Coach Brad Davis after the game. I'm here with Coach uh, Davis, and uh, Coach, uh, how do you feel after such a great upset against Monterey? Well, we feel great. Anytime you win, it's a great feeling, and, and to have played as well as we did tonight, uh, you know, makes it even better. We, we need to take a week off here and, and kind of heal up a little bit and uh, start getting ready for that first district game, but this is a big win tonight. 
Now, next week is open, but uh, how do you feel? Uh, what's your strategy uh, in your next uh, game against Hereford? Well, our strategy is to, to get healthy. We've got some kids banged up, hurt, that we need to get back. And then secondly, to keep improving. you, you got to keep improving, keep uh, working hard. Uh, you you got to keep improving every day. You got to keep uh, working hard every day, and that's going to be our goal is to do that. If we do that, then uh, the the victories should take care of themselves. Great game, coach. Thanks. Thank you. The Friendship Tigers get their third victory in a row, defeating Monterey here at Lowry Field by a score of 32 to 13. I'm Colton Kaiser, Tiger Vision Sports. Well, that's a look at today's sports. Back to you. That's all we have today. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching Tiger Vision News. Everyone have a great afternoon.